And we're back, and I'm joined by Mr. Leandro Balmero, the number 23 draft pick in the 2020 NBA draft. Currently playing basketball outside in Barcelona, beautiful city. How are you doing today, Leandro? I'm good. I'm good here. We have practice now. And... No, what do you say? I don't know what to say. All good, all good. All good. <laughs> good. You just finished practice or just about to start? No, we have practice in 45 minutes. Oh, okay, so I'll keep this nice and quick. Um, <laughs> the first thing I wanted to speak to you about is what are you developing in your game at the moment? Are you working on shooting, passing? What type of aspects are you looking to build on? In everything. I try to improve every day in all my aspects, uh, more in the physical work and the shoot. Uh, but then in the end, I'm working in everything. Uh, defense also, uh, and watching videos to, to improve for other players. So every day I try to improve and to give my best to to be best every day. And are you getting any development or help from um, the Timbal? Can you repeat? Your M the team um, in America, the NBA team, do they give you yeah. any extra work to what they want you to work on or is it everything through Barcelona? No, no, Barcelona is, I'm working here in Barcelona. They, they, they trust in this, so uh but I, I i i talk with them sometimes uh with the assistant coach uh, with the with the gm sometimes uh we have contacts so we are talking about that uh but no i'm working here in barcelona so no i don't have another <laughs> <laughs> barcelona just made a big big signing in pal gasol um how how do you, are you excited to be playing with him? Have you spoke to him since um, the signing was announced? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's crazy. This because Pau <laughs> is a, is a legend, and I want to take advantage of this. Uh, for me, it's like a dream play with him uh, and have this opportunity uh, for the team, not just for me. It's it's amazing. It's amazing, and and we want to learn. We want to learn and improve of, of him. That's lots of NBA experience in your team now. You've got Nikola Mir Mirotic, um, Alex Abrinas, and now Gasol as well. Uh, I'm sure I'm probably missing a name or two there. How much are they helping you prepare for moving over towards the NBA game? Uh, they help me, but now here. I, right now I'm here. In, I play for Barcelona. Uh, so I, I have my head here. Uh, I don't think in the future and in other things. So I, I want to, to 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 be here to to improve my game, and after we will see what what is going on. But I try to to be focused in the the in the present. And how are things going for Barcelona at the moment with the COVID situation and travel restrictions? Are you finding it more difficult to get into a river? No, now is uh, you mean the the city or um, the travel? The travel with the, uh, going to games and playing in uh, Europe. No, we, we will we go in charter, uh, so we don't have problem in this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and after with the mask and, and all the restric restriction, but we have to to do this. So no games being cancelled for you so far. No, no. That's good. That's very good. And yeah. everybody's staying healthy. Barcelona, um, very busy city. Everybody's keeping healthy. How, can you repeat? Uh, Barcelona, everybody in the team is happy and they're healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're like a family here. <laughs> and then we're speaking about the NBA, and you said you speak to the assistant coach over in Minnesota. You speak to the GM. Have you had a chance to speak with the new head coach since the coaching change earlier this week? No, already no. I didn't talk with him, uh, but I know something of him. So maybe when we finish the season, I will talk with him. And uh, I will say now I'm focused here uh, and I want to help my team. So uh, this is this is my, my, my job now. Which is fair. And 
when we're looking at how you play now and the way the type of basketball that Barcelona play and the differences in European basketball to the NBA basketball, what do you think is your best way of fitting into the Timberwolves and slutting in with NBA style basketball? Um, I think uh, I, I'm good here and comfortable. Uh, every day I feel better. Uh, and in all my things, no, just in one thing, if not in in everything. Uh, but now, like I said before, I am playing here in Barcelona. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't look the, I don't watch like the future. I want to improve every day and after, uh, like here, step by step, uh, going better and and try to to improve every day and to practice uh, to hundred percent. So it's like what I'm doing now. And are you playing? You play in the Euro League this year, right? You guys are. Um, how do you feel about Barcelona's chances of competing towards uh, winning the Euro League this year with the amount of strength that you've got in this team? Yeah, I think that we have an amazing team. Uh, all the players every day practice like, like crazy, giving his maximum. So this is the reason why I think that we can do everything. We if, if we if we keep with this uh, with this intensity with this aggressivity that we have every day in practice we, we can win everything so uh, and also we will improve a lot because uh, I see the, the other players how they practice how they how they do his things uh, good and I learn of them a lot uh, so I'm, I'm very good here and I, I try to take advantage of this to practice with the best uh, and improve of them. And there's going to be people listening to this that don't watch much Euro League basketball. So, what would you say to them are the biggest differences between basketball in Europe and the NBA? Where are things most different? I think uh, in the NBA is like more fast, uh, fast basketball. Uh, it's like uh, here we have more, more the system more like a system uh, we play more like a team uh, and and i don't mean that in the nba don't play like a team but it's like more fast so uh, i think that this is a little bit different and after i i i don't know i have to play in the nba to see to, to say something about that i don't feel how they play and i don't know already how they play Wait, 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 wait. I don't listen to you. My fault, my yeah. fault. What no, are the no. biggest concerns you have about moving? Um, is it the language or is it the um, the actual basketball itself? Like, are you con you sound very comfortable speaking English. <laughs> I'm probably my English, yeah. I'm studying uh, <laughs> two times per week or three times. So uh, I think... Uh, but can you repeat the question because I, I don't know if I understand you. Um, your English sounds quite good. Um, yeah. Are you confident in being able to move to a new country that speak English and be able to understand everything the coach wants you to do? Yeah, no, I think in the basketball language, I understand everything. <laughs> uh, after in the live, <laughs> in the live is a little more tough, but I understand. In basketball, I understand. You in basketball, you understand. Are you taking yeah. English lessons? Yeah, I take. I take. You're doing well. We're you're doing fine here, and I'm as English as they come. Um, so I know that you're in Barcelona. You're playing for Barcelona in Minnesota. There's a Barcelona legend right now in Ricky Rubio. Have you spoke to Ricky at all? Has he or has he reached out to you? Are you excited to play with him in the future? Yeah, of course, of course, and uh, more because he <laughs> he is uh, like a legend. Also, he played here in Barcelona, so I think that he can help me. Uh, also, he speaks Spanish, <laughs> uh, this is good for me. So yeah, I'm excited to play with him, and 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 I think that he's a great player, and a great legend. And for people listening now. Um... What's been the journey for Leandro? Like, um, so everybody with European prospects, um, Luka Doncic, Kristaps Porzingis, everybody's interested in 
how young were they when they went professional how long until they became regular in the, prof um, the higher leagues in Europe? So for you, how old was you when you turned professional and how long until you began to get scouts from the NBA involved? Uh, oh, I understand, but not everything. Uh, uh, we'll go slow. So how old was you when you turned professional? Ah, okay. Uh, when I lived to my home, I lived to Bahia, to Bahia Blanca, and in this moment was when I started to be like more uh, professional, to to eat good and, and to to rest good and to do everything like uh, like good to to be better. But in this moment, like three years ago, approximately, and after when I come here, of course here I start like, really good. Uh, and and today already I, I keep with this and you moved to europe from argentina right yeah so how was that adjustment for you um because you're going to be doing another adjustment again soon so how was it moving from south america to europe no it was good uh, i had to so good to the team uh, to the city it's a beautiful city uh, and a great club, so a great club. So uh, for me, it was was good, and 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 I am very good here now. Uh, I'm doing all like step by step. We started with the Barca B, now in the first team, so I won this, uh, and I feel good now. I feel better. Uh, this is the best for me. So I'm I'm very happy here and, and comfortable. So there's a very famous Argentinian player who also plays in Barcelona, but not in basketball. Um, do you have much to do with him? Do you speak to him? No, I already know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Man. I don't know. But, but no, I will. I will. I will. I will try to to contact him and and with the club we are we are talking about that to to have some some meat or something. Yeah, he's um, both from the same country, both yeah, playing yeah, exactly, in the exactly, same exactly. team. Um, do you have any contact with any of the soccer team, or are you strictly with the basketball team all the time? No, I stay now and more now with the COVID, with the coronavirus. Uh, before now, but now is is worse. We are just with the basketball and. We, we 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 practice in different in different place because they play this in Ciudad Deportiva and we in the in Palau so in, in the Camp Nou where is the Camp Nou we practice so it's difficult to to see some player here. And has the amount that you practice been? Do you practice less now due to COVID? You practice less 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 yeah due to COVID like um, NBA teams not practicing much um is it the same in europe no no we practice the same <laughs> <laughs> every day uh, yeah yeah every day and, and we have our like restrictions but we practice the same mask or no mask no 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 mask no mask no they are used. They are used. Um, not too sure um i think there's individual workouts and then team workouts um, but i'm not sure about the uh the mask situation uh, uh, be very tough to train with a mask, right? Yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to thank you for jumping on, Leandro. Um, that's pretty much everything I had to ask. I really appreciate you um, taking the time. And hopefully we can speak again before the end of the season. Okay. Thank you very much.